attracted me to this approach of doing spine surgery is the fact that, uh, you know, I do have direct interaction and continual communication with the patients. Uh, and uh, they can give me instant feedback. A lot of times in other spine surgeries, you know, you put them to sleep and the surgeon operates and you don't really see what they're doing and you wonder, well, is the surgery actually gonna take care of their pain or are they gonna come up with a new type of pain later? So during this surgery, we know immediately what kind of results we're gonna have. Some of the things that I ask the patients during surgery are, are you okay, how are you doing, where's the pain? And uh, you know, I ask this very frequently because if I see them grimacing, I'll, I know that something's wrong and I just want to make sure that they have a good comfort level during the case. And, uh, you know, if there's anything that I can make better for them, I, I like to do that because again, I can see the immediate effects of it since they're awake and we're communicating with each other. In my experience, what I can tell that the patients are feeling, uh, once they get over the awe of being able to see their surgery being performed on them while they're awake is uh, occasionally some of them will feel some pressure uh, some tugging, pulling, occasionally some vibrating from the drill. And depending on how close the bone and nerve are, uh, how close the bone and nerve are in relation to each other, some may feel a little discomfort, but at every, at every point during the case, when I'm asking them if they're okay, if they do experience discomfort, I do what I can to relieve that discomfort without putting them to sleep. Uh, some patients, again, are more sensitive to the medicines that we give, but uh, I think everybody comes out of there with uh, a sense of uh, being happy that they've seen their surgery while not completely missing it because they're asleep.